Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Jasmine and I'm the Glamazon. So in today's video, I'm going to be doing a review of the Clinique Fit Foundation. Um, it's a foundation that's formulated for you to use like while you're sweating, while you're at the gym, while you're doing something active. Um, it's going to be a first impressions kind of video. Um, I did swatch it at the store on my hand and like on the back of my neck, but I haven't really like, tried it out like full force on my face, so I'm really excited for that. Um, so the whole deal with this foundation is so you're supposed to be able to work out in it and it's not going to be like clogging your pores or anything like that. It also has um, an SPF 40 in it, so it would be great for hiking. It says 12 hour wear, buildable coverage, natural matte finish, um, refreshing, lightweight, oil free, allergy tested, 100% fragrance free, ophthalmologist tested. So it's supposed to be really good like and breathable for like working out at the gym. I'd never seen this before until they put it in the Ulta that I work at, that's where I got this, at Ulta. Um, it retails for $29.50 and I got the shade 07 Deep. Um, so when I'm at the gym, I generally don't wear makeup, like, at all. Like, I don't even wear mascara. Um, just because, like, wearing makeup at the gym clogs your pores, it's just not healthy. And, like, while I'm sweating, I feel like that would be a good time for my face to breathe since I'm wearing makeup pretty much all the time anyway. Um, but sometimes, um, I don't know. I like to be a little more put together. I mean, I do have hyperpigmentation, like you can obviously see all over my face from times where I've had a chronic acne and like breakouts and stuff like that. And just from being a woman of color anyway, like just hyperpigmentation is natural. Um, so I wanted to test this out to see if I can get a more even complexion and if I can be more even while I sweat. I mean, what's the harm in that without clogging my pores? So yeah, so if you want to see a full review on this fit foundation um, and how it actually works at the gym and how it applies and after the gym and whatever else I might have to say about this then just keep watching okay so we're gonna go ahead and open your girl up here if I can get it open it's like oh, okay I was like what's going on here so opening it for the first time here on camera see if there's any like additional information on here it says shake well so we shake it mind you like for the sake of like pore clogging or whatever I'm not going to put any type of like primer on or anything um I'll put on some rose water I've already like washed my face and put on like a light moisturizer and eye cream for the for like today but um I'm not gonna put on primer because I mean I'm going to the gym but I will um mist myself with some rose water and that will act as our primer for lightweight makeup today don't don't use that for heavyweight makeup guys this is because it's for lightweight makeup okay so I moved in a little closer so you guys can get a better look and I've already sprayed myself with some Mario Badescu uh rose water for a little hydration for a little priming action here because we're not going to use actual primer because we're going to the gym after this so we're not actually trying to clog our pores um it says on the thing to shake it and i had to go and wet a sponge and so i'm going to shake it again because i'm anal like that it says shake well okay so it's pretty shaken um so there's actually like a little i don't know if you heard it you probably heard it it was loud um <laughs> like there's like a little mixer in there to like help shake it up um i'm gonna put a little on the back of my hand it's pretty runny so i'm gonna put that there and it's kind of light which kind of scares me but it's okay so i'm gonna go for it <laughs> this is laughable honestly This is what I'm talking about, Clinique. There's, <laughs> there should be more shades in this. Okay, on my neck, you guys, this was fine. So maybe it'll like <laughs> oxidize. I will say though, a little goes a very, very long way. God, this is awful. This color is awful and I'm still going though. I'm still going, does it get better when I back up? No. It does not get better. Why, Clinique? Why? Who is this color? <laughs> I'm literally a Simpsons character right now. Oh 
like honestly just call me Marge <laughs> oh my god I'm still going this you would have to put like some type of powder like over this to make it the right color which then kind of defeats the purpose you feel so in real life guys it's just really ashy on camera I'm just straight yellow oh my god okay so number one they definitely need more colors um in this shade in this shade line range thing i mean maybe not sitting on me it's not it's not so bad i'm trying to justify this because i really want to go to the gym <laughs> um i mean it's kind of oxidizing a little bit like a little I will say that it's very full coverage because obviously it's covered like all my spots I look if it was the right color I look flawless <laughs> um oh my gosh except for that spot right there what's going on so we're gonna go to the gym and um I'll come back with some test results um I figure this isn't the worst way for me to go to the gym I mean it's kind of oxidizing a little bit so I mean I'm kind of gray but I mean, it's not the worst that it could be. Um, I turned down the brightness of my ring light. So you're getting like a lot of natural light. And then I know you can see it in the mirror over here. I have a soft box over here. So that's the only kind of lighting that we're getting. But eh, it's, it's pretty bad, but it's not the worst. I've literally been gray before. And I've been orange, like literal, like Oompa Loompa, Willy Wonka orange. So, um... Yeah, so this is it. God awful. Um, does give nice coverage. Um, just wish it was. All right, so I'm actually on my way to the gym. Um, I just thought I'd show you guys in some natural lighting outside. Um, I'm looking like actually you're like really natural, not as ashy. Actually, looks like it kind of matches. So I actually don't look like a Simpsons character. So maybe like it needs to like settle down like once it gets on your face. Um, I'm just not, I'm not used to that. I'm used to like pretty much like whatever foundation I wear, the, it's, it is the color that it is. I mean, it darkens a little bit, but, or it could have just been like the lighting. I don't know where I was filming, but it looks pretty even from here to here. So really full coverage, um, nice coverage. Um, this is my skin really close up, I'm sorry. Uh, I have a lot of pores, um, a lot of texture, but otherwise it looks pretty, pretty good. So let's actually go and sweat and see how it holds up. All right, guys. So I am back from the gym. Um, I did legs today. If anyone cares, um, I did legs. Um, legs is my favorite. Um, um, but I also did legs because it was the workout that would produce the most sweat. I mean, besides like a general like cardio day, but I wanted to see if this uh, foundation was gonna like st really like stand up to the sweat. The only thing I didn't do that I would normally do in my gym routine um, was sit in the sauna for like 10 minutes after the fact, but I just felt like honestly, like that was gonna be a little overkill for our experiment today just cause I kind of got the gist of it like in the beginning of my workouts. So let's uh, basically just dive into the full review. So um, when I left for the gym um, initially and I put it on, uh, we saw that it had really great coverage, very full coverage, but it was just like the color was really off. I even like adjusted the brightness of my lights to, um, to see if that had something to do with it. I mean, it helped a little bit. Um, I even showed you guys a clip of me in natural like sunlight, like outside um, of what it looked like. Um, and even there, it still looked a little ashy. Didn't quite look like a Simpsons character, thank God. But like, it was definitely still ashy. It's actually still ashy now. I can see it on the camera how ashy it is. So yeah, like just coming off very like yellowy, ashy, like not really matching. I mean, I kind of look like I'm sick. Kind of like I'm... You know, like I'm about to like barf. That's honestly what I look like. Um, so that was one thing I didn't like. So I definitely think they definitely need more colors um, for this if they're gonna like market this towards people that go to the gym. Because I mean, not just one shade of people go to the gym. Just saying. Um, but yeah. So 
full coverage. Um, I like the amount of product that I had to use. Like I had to use like one drop, honestly, like one to two drops and it like covered my entire face. So that was really awesome about it. That's a plus. Um, and I liked the finish. It was a very like natural-ish matte finish. It wasn't, it says matte, but like it wasn't really matte. It was honestly kind of like skin-like. Which is like, I mean, honestly what I would want for being at the gym because like I want to look, I don't want to look like I'm wearing makeup, like, because I'm at the gym and I don't, I don't want to look like I'm trying too hard. And I don't know if you can, you can tell, like this is it like dried down and like I patted some of it. Like I didn't wipe my face at the gym, but I like patted, like especially when I started to sweat like profusely. So that's the other thing. So it says that, you know, that 12 hour wear and it's supposed to be made to like work out in. And even on the display at the store, it says life proof. So I was like, oh damn, like life proof. Like this has got to be some, <laughs> it's got to be strong. It's got to be like standing up to the challenge. And it like did not stand up to the challenge at all. Like honestly, you guys, like the first thing I did was the Stairmaster and like I'm sweating because I was like my warm up and like, I'm like, you know, patting myself with the little like napkins at the gym and like it, it's all like coming off onto the um, napkin. Um, so there is that. Um, and then like, you know, the more I sweat, like the more like ghostly I look because it's like hydrated the foundation. Like, I don't know how to explain that, but like it just, it's like, it's got like, the, I had like this extreme like white cast at the gym. Like I just did not, it did not look good. But I, I stuck with it for the sake of this video. So be proud of me. Like, <laughs> I was like, ex we're, we're doing the experiment here. So yeah, um, so made me look ghostly. Uh, was coming off while I was sweating profusely. And then as I moved on to things like squats and you know, like everything else, like leg press, you know, whatever else, it was just my face. I'm obviously, I'm sweating to death and like, it's just running off of my face. So honestly, like didn't stand up to the gym. Would not recommend to wear to the gym, the actual gym, even though it's like, oh, clinic, clinic fit, like um, not for the gym. I would, however, recommend wearing this on like a hike. If you're gonna go on like a light hike or like to the park with your dog, but like still, like if you're just gonna do something like super casual fitnessy, I don't know, play golf, um, then I would totally recommend this. But if you're like going to the gym and you're like running, like profusely running and like lifting weights and like actually working out, would not recommend to a friend. If you tried this before, tell me what you think about it in the comments. Um, also, let me know if you would like me to do more videos like that by giving this video a thumbs up because that would really help me out a lot. Um, I love testing out things like it's a little science experiment. Like honestly, I was like chuckling to myself the whole time at the gym because I was like, haha, like I'm doing like an experiment. And like everyone in this gym probably thinks I'm crazy because I have like this ghostly whiteness and I'm like sweating it all off, but whatever. But yeah, so that's pretty much it, you guys. Um, like I said, uh, great to wear on a hike or you know golfing but not to the actual gym um, if you want to see more videos from me don't forget to hit the subscribe button um, I'd love to hear if you've tried this or what you think of this um, in the comments and I'll see you guys in my next video bye